a very good day all welcome back to switch technologies today i am going to introduce you a new release in the recent salesforce winter 21 release element okay so first of all i want you remind you guys what exactly is a validation tool don't worry i am not going to take much of your valuable time here so but uh, what is a validation tool every organization will have its own set of certain requirements its own set of certain standards for their data for their data so in case you want those standards to be applicable to the records that the end user is saving the records that the end user is saving then you want a validation rule what does a validation rule do so a validation rule is going to verify so whether the data the end user is entering is up to the standards of the company or not if it is not matching the standards of the company then it is going to stop the record save and it display an error message if the data is complying with the company's standards it is going to continue saving the record it is going to continue saving the record so that is the purpose of the validation rule so if you know validation rules can be written on any particular object and they will be executed they will be evaluated while the record is created or updated only so that is the limitation of a validation rule that is a limitation of a validation whereas in the winter 24 release so salesforce has introduced a new element inside the flow called as custom error custom error c create targeted error messages in record triggered flows to display in a window on the overall record page or as an inline error on a specific field for your users the change that triggered the flow is rolled back until the error is fixed until the error is fixed so usually you want to display an error message before the record is saved in the record in the database so you will always go for quick actions okay so whereas here because the changes are automatically rolled back you can select the action and related also action and related things also okay so let us take a very quick requirement using which i will display or i will demonstrate you how to validate a something using a flow in my salesforce org, org i am having candidates object and i am creating a new candidate record so let us assume the candidate name is john wesley so let us give some mobile number here let us select the skill set as java email as john dot wes at the rate of gmail dot com and total experience seven see here these are all the mandatory fields okay so let us say the status is participated for the right now and the offer letter released offer letter released carefully observe so what is the major requirement here is only the person who is having status as a recruited can have offer letter released understood everybody so while creating the record or updating the record if somebody accidentally tries to enable this option without having the status field value as recruited i want to display the error message i want to display the error message so shall we do that see currently even if it is not recruited also so the record is getting saved which must not happen which must not happen so let us go and see how we are going to liberate this so go to setup so i want to create a flow here so how can you create flows guys so we will go to the setup go to process automation and flows let us create a new flow now when does this flow must be running so whenever you are trying to create or update a 
candidate record so record triggered flow if you want to validate you should use only record triggered flow remember this point very carefully everyone okay in case of validating a record if you want to do that validation with the help of flow what is the flow you must be selecting record triggered flow create so now what object we need to create this flow on obviously candidate object so i am going to select the candidate object here when this must be happening when a record is created or updated created or updated and so what is the entry condition you want to do what is the entry condition you want to do so i will go for multiple conditions here and that is that is if if the status is equal to or status is not equal to recruited and and offer letter released equals to true okay when do you want to display the error message when the status is not recruited and offer letter is selected offer letter is selected and when to run the flow for updated records so for updated records i want this to happen only when the record is updated to meet this particular requirements to meet this particular requirements okay so i will go for fast field updates you can also go for actions or related records because before saving only i want to display the error message which will stop the uh, save at all so which is going to reduce the button on the computer so then close this obviously the computer is not my local computer but it is the salesforce system computer now what do you want to do you just want to display the error message right so custom error message i want to display the error message that um, offer letter release or invalid release error okay this error message will be displayed on the candidate record on the candidate record so i want to see display the error message where do you want to display the error message see guys so when i try to create a new record so when i try to create a new record if i click on save do you see that so there are two places the error can be coming so we hit a snag review the following fields an error message can be coming here on the window this is one place and this is the second place okay so if you want to display the error message here beside this error icon then you will go for this option in a window on a record page but if you want the error message to be displayed on a particular field at that point of time you are going to do what you will select that particular field with this second option as a inline error on a field so what field we want to display the error message on offer letter released what is the error message you want to display only recruited candidates only recruited candidates get the offer letter only recruited candidates get the offer letter you can write any kind of error messages here and click on save and i am going to uh, give the label name something like uh, custom flow error on candidate invalid offer this flow will display an error message whenever invalid offer letter release is happening and click on save now so what can you do you can debug this click on debug so while created so john wesley record i am selecting that we have just created click on run so what happened so this is completed if you expand you can see that the interview has started by me and uh, so the entry conditions are matching so error message is being displayed okay fine then 
so you can also debug this as updated debug this as updated also like uh, but uh, the changes are already there the changes are already there participated is there right so let us go for technical cleared and run so it is not cleared only when matched right only when matched it is going to happen so it's fine uh, uh, no problem here because we have selected the option as this one if i select this then it is going to do save debug so go for updated select john wesley i'm going for uh, technical clear see so it is completed so the test was successful now you just going to activate the flow you are just going to activate the flow and the flow got activated now let us create a new record so i will say kirti some phone number i am going to give here then skill set we are going to have something total experience something email kirti at the rate of xyz dot com then status we will go for anything and i will enable this option only to find that we are getting an error review the following fields did you see that guys only recruited candidates get the offer letter so this is the error message that we wanted to display because you have selected the option to display the error message on the field the field name is also being displayed here in the error message so that is a feature of the flow here but if you don't want to have that you can happily put the error message at the window at the window right guys so i hope everybody got a better view on this custom error flow element right so from now onwards we can uh, validate the records not only via validation rule but also via flows right so thank you very much everybody please like our video share with uh, so many people as possible subscribe to our channel visit our telegram channel for more amazing updates thank you guys bye bye have a good day